Hello, you guys. Do I have a story for you? I've been taking video the last two days since this happened. Um, so I'm gonna try my hardest to make sense of all the little snippets I have because I just really tried to get video when I could, but I'm not sure exactly how much it's gonna make sense. So Tuesday, Freya fell at preschool out of a chair. She came home, she was okay. They said that she cried for a minute and then was okay. She came home and she just was kind of off and then she fell asleep and woke up just screaming. And so I was like, I'll get her in the bath. She loves the bath. I took her, went to take her shirt off and she lost it. And I realized that her lucky arm, it was when I bent her lucky arm to get it out of the shirt. And so I'm freaking out thinking that it's broken. Chris comes home. I gave her some ibuprofen. I called my doctor. They were closed because they were having their Christmas party. And so if I wanted to, her to see a doctor, I would have had to go to the ER. And the ER, or I called our urgent care and they said it was a two hour wait and their waiting room was full of sick people. And so with Freya's immuno compromisation. I don't know if that's the right word. <laughs> I didn't want to have her wait for two hours in a waiting room full of sick people. So we decided to wait until the next day and take her to her pediatrician. And this, I have video of being at the pediatrician. You might just have to pull it open. You're cute today, you know that? <laughs> you get your x-rays done. Are you mad at me now? Say, Mom, don't even look at me. Huh. Oh, she's getting that try. She's trying her hardest. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you gotta have extra things to support us so things don't fall over. What is that? What is what? Her uh cast thing sling. Sling. That's a cute sling. Are you showing Liam this? You should. I should send it to Liam, shouldn't I? You're a cutie. Yeah, you're a cute little cutie little almond there. It's a little almond there. Yeah, it's a little <laughs> almond there. It's a little almond there. Yeah. I think she likes it. She That's totally good. Like, I'm almond. impressed. I'm really impressed. <laughs> it's a little almond there. Did not it's think she was going to keep it on at all. And totally thought it would be off by now. I think she likes this. So he takes some x-rays and tells me to go have lunch. And he would call me when he got the results of the x-rays. Because I live so far away from my doctor. I live about an hour away from my doctor. If it was broken, she would have to come back and get a soft cast on. So he didn't want me leaving and then having to drive back. So we went to lunch. <laughs> Waiting for a call from the doctor. Frey is chilling. So we then went to the park because we hadn't heard anything and we had to wait around. So we went to the park and had so much fun. Freya was having the time of her life. <laughs> So I get a call from the doctor at the park saying that she has a separated shoulder, that it's completely separated from her clavicle, that it most likely will need surgery, 
and I will have to see, well, I will, Freya will have to see an orthopedic surgeon the next day to see if she needs surgery and then we possibly would have to go up to our children's hospital to have the surgery. And I was freaking out, obviously. It's days before Christmas, I was freaking out. Um, I thought she had broken her elbow, which is why I took her. I did notice some swelling in her elbow and it seemed like when she bent her elbow, she was having some pain. And he said it possibly was that it was just pulling the shoulder funny when she was bending the elbow. According to the radiologist, this is not, my doctor is not making this diagnosis. The person that read the x-rays is the radiologist. And he's just relaying that information. So fast forward to today. I called the orthopedic doctor at nine in the morning, let him know that my doctor had talked to what talked to one of their doctors and one of their doctors said she needed to be seen today. They said, okay, we'll see where we can put her in in the schedule. Three hours go by and I call them at noon and say, hey, I haven't heard back, what's going on? And they're like, well, the doctor hasn't told us yet where he wants her on the schedule, so we'll call you back. So they end up calling me back and the doctor says, I don't think it's as bad as everybody thinks it is, so it's non-emergent and she doesn't need to be seen. I was like, I need to be seen. Freya was up all night the last two nights crying. She's obviously in pain for something. Someone needs to tell me what to do. My pediatrician didn't tell me what to do because he said you guys would tell me what to do. And now you're saying it's no big deal and she doesn't need to be seen. And so the front desk lady is like, oh, so you still want to be seen? I was like, yeah, that would be great. So I call my friend who works at that hospital and she's like, they have like an urgent care orthopedic office. Just go there. And I was like, okay, let's go. So we get in the car and drive down to see this orthopedic urgent care. A uh, physician assistant comes in and he was trained in pediatrics and he's like, let's just get a, a picture of her other shoulder to see maybe that's just how her shoulders are. And so we do. And he comes back in. He's like, yeah, her shoulders are just separated. They look dislocated on the x-ray, but it's just her anatomy. Like they're just a little more separated than they would be on a typical kid. And I was like, okay, well, like I didn't even think it was her shoulders. I thought it was her elbow. That's why I brought her down. I thought her elbow was broken and they took x-rays of her elbow. And so he's like, well, let's look at those x-rays. He looked at the x-rays and her freaking elbow was broken. <laughs> like the radiologist that read the x-ray was so hung up on her, cause it was her lucky arm, so hung up on her lucky arm anatomy that he didn't even look closely at the elbow and didn't see the break. It wasn't a big break, it's just a little crack, but her elbow was broken, which is what I thought was going on in the first place. So she got a soft cast and she only has to wear it for like four weeks, they said. Um, we talked about maybe putting a hard cast on, but he said with his experience with kids with developmental delays, the hard cast can kind of be a sensory nightmare. This, this guy is a godsend. He basically just asked me, what do you think we should do? And I loved the soft cast. That way we could take it on and off as needed for Freya. And if she needs kind of a sensory break from it, we can do that. Now that we're done with that debacle and I've been stressing for two days thinking this little one was gonna have to have surgery, I'm happy to say she just has a broken elbow. Also, I wanna reiterate, her preschool is amazing. She has been falling at home too. She's just doing a lot more things independently and is really trying to do things on her own, doesn't want help, kind of refuses help. 
it just was a fluke thing. Like she just fell and it's, it's not their fault. And I just want to reiterate that. And this is just why it's so important to find good doctors. Doctors that listen to you and the issue is a lot of doctors will get hung up on the fact that Freya has a syndrome. They will get hung up on the fact that she has a limb difference. The radiologist probably should have seen that break on the x-ray, but he wasn't looking at the elbow. He was looking at her limb difference, which is fascinating. And I'll show you guys the pictures. They're really cool. It is fascinating. But also when I come in saying, I think her elbow is broken, you need to take a really close look at that elbow and not focus on the limb difference. So the doctor we saw today, the physician's assistant was amazing. He listened to my concerns. Had I not, had he not listened to my concern of when I said, I thought her elbow was broken. That's why we came in. He immediately went and looked at the x-ray and he felt her elbow and he's like, yeah, her elbow's broken. Had he just been like, no, no, that's probably not it. The radiologist would have caught it, you know, something like that. We'd be back at square one. So I'm very, very picky about the doctors we keep on Freya's staff. And this is why. Because I spent a day thinking something was wrong that wasn't, worried, trying to figure out how we were going to do surgery in the middle of Christmas. I just cried last night, like cried. Freya was up crying because she was in pain. And I was, they told me not to let her lift her shoulder above because that could do more damage. So every time she lifted her arm up, I was grabbing her arm and pushing it down and holding down on a broken elbow. <sighs> yeah, the whole, the whole situation is frustrating because I was told by the radiologist that everything was fine. Well, not everything was fine. That all these other things were wrong with her arm, which we already knew. So it's just so important to have doctors that listen to you as a disability parent because you're with them 24 seven and your gut instinct knows what's going on. So if you're a disability parent watching this, listen to your gut. This I already feel that way, but when you're told straight to your face that that's not what's wrong, it's kind of like, okay, well, I guess, I guess that's not what's, what is wrong, but it was. I'm so happy. I'm so happy it's just a broken elbow, and I know that's a funny thing to say, but a shoulder separation that means a surgery and everything, or they said if, if it wasn't surgery, it it would be eight weeks of recovery. Now we're down to a little four week recovery. So that's great. Are you showing me your cast? Mm -hmm. You're showing it off. Is that new? That's a cool thing. Do you like it? <laughs> it's a cool new thing. What do you think? She did good. Are you? Glad we don't have to do surgery. Yeah. You still a little sad her arm's broken? Of course. That's how I feel. Relieved, but also still very sad. Freya's like, woohoo! I can lift my arms above my head and mom won't make me stop. Look at this. Huh. Oh look, I can raise my arm above my head. Uh, 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 uh,
<clears throat> Back to my sewing desk. They gave uh, Freya this sling yesterday. You saw her wearing it. Very cute. It is way too big. Her arm probably comes to here. So I'm going to cut it and sew it here. Move this over to here. So hopefully it fits her a little bit better. I didn't take any height off like this way so we'll see how it fits if I do need to take some height off I can do that but there it is Alrighty. there it is what do you think of your new improved sling so you can see these are her fingers right where it should be it came like all the way over to here yesterday so hopefully <laughs> yeah you got a hair tie we got Freya to bed. She's doing so much better with that cast on. I think it's just helping stabilize. She seems to be in a lot less pain, which is good. She's doing good on ibuprofen. It's just that when the ibuprofen wears off, you can kind of tell. So hopefully with the cast, that'll help. Fiona and I are gonna paint. <laughs> Chris and Fiona, or Jesse are playing video games over there, and Liam's downstairs doing something. It's very relaxing music. It is very relaxing music. So, thanks for hanging in there, and I hope the video made some type of sense. It's hard when I can't narrate when it's actually going on, because I was, you know, trying to get Freya into x-ray, and listen to what the doctors were saying, and getting it five different phone calls and it's just been a crazy two days but I'm so glad so glad that we don't have to do surgery and we can enjoy our Christmas break huh all right thanks for hanging out with us and I hope we'll see you next time